I will, I will call Mika. <laughs> so, Perth Raiders um, from Austria. It's going to be in the jet lag time now. Yeah, and after, after this game, we start playing the semifinals. And here we go, game starts. It's the Perth Riders from Austria in blue against uh, uh, the female team from uh, Vienna, Austria in white. And the Perth Riders uh, don't lose a sweat. They go in and uh, attack the basket of the Austrian girls. And they want to go for a goal in the first seconds. But the Austrian girls, we saw a very good defense from them. And uh, they know how to stop even a vicious attack we had here. Really good. So hopefully this is a more dynamic game. Sorry, than the one we saw from Copenhagen against Izmir. Uh, I know these people, uh, these players are tired. And it, uh, it shows in the game. But this is this has more dynamic in the moment uh, than the one Ismir against Copenhagen. And now uh, Vienna is in ball possession and uh, working its way through the pool to the Austrian basket. And we are in the close side of the, in the corner, coming from the corner to the front of the basket of Perth Riders from Austria. And there's an attack on the goalkeeper from above from an Austrian player. And the ball is on the yep. pass to the open side, but tackled away. Well, I mean, uh, Vienna, I also would say that Vienna could be um, maybe um, the favorite team for this uh, game. They have a bit more experience. They have been playing very intense for the last two, three years together. But the Perth Riders um, also fight uh, and try to keep their positions and be consistent with, well, with well the Well, the start so was very good by uh, Australia. If they can keep it up like that, that's the question. Uh, maybe they can put enough pressure. But I think Austria has more experience in scoring in this, uh, in this combination. So let's see, we're on the surface. Hopefully not this much surface fighting. An Austrian uh, player stole away the basket from the... No, an Australian player stole the basket away from an Austrian player. Wow. Yeah, Austrian, Australian. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah Australian, the Australia, the Australia, Austria. Sorry, I was away for, for two matches and I have to uh, get into the game again. So the Australian are attacked or we're trying to attack with a close corner and the uh, Austrians recover the ball and trying to start a counter-attack and well, that was a great Oh, uh, that's dangerous, that will be an empty basket well, and that's a goal no, from that's New That's great, I mean, Perth. amazing, amazing recovering of the ball and counter-attack uh, really, really great job that's from Australia I mean. That's what I saw in the beginning the attack in the beginning was really uh, decisive into the Austrian basket and the Perth Raiders wanted to score there and this was uh, almost uh, an uh, uh, equal uh, 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 or the same situation one player going for it and had a chance to score on the empty basket so 1-0 for the Perth Raiders against uh, Vienna Well, the semi-finals no A and B are at 7 and 7.30. Big two against Bamber, Orcas against Flipper. So Austria tries uh, to, to score themselves. And they went into the basket area of uh, Australia, but they didn't succeed, pulled out again, and try now a second time with uh, attacking because players already already positioned already positioned around the basket but Perth uh, recover the ball and uh, they're trying now to work their way through the middle half of uh, the pool area and uh, Vienna is, is for checking and trying to stop them and turn the game around at this point but uh, Perth Riders are uh, very agile to to overswim 
the Portuguese defense of Austria. And here we have an attack from the open side. It's another goal that was really uh, out of the blue with a, with a player from uh, the Perth Riders waiting on the open side, I, I receiving the ball. I the Australians uh, had such a definition by attacking. I remember how they, they were having more trouble with the other team. So yeah. great job. I mean. yeah. It's a two series already uh, after a little bit more than five minutes here in game number which number do we have right now we are playing the 33 38 38 uh, game number 38 here uh, champions cup 2016 17 17 in berlin it's um, here at the time here in berlin it's 6 49 in the evening it's dark outside and uh, we're here from uh, eight on in the morning so it's already uh, 10 hours commenting here. And we saw a lot of good games. And uh, later in the day, the players get uh, tired. But these were two quite surprising goals from the Perth Riders. They, they yeah, used their really chances and yeah, they, they scored. So again, uh, Jena. tries to break through but is uh, stopped and uh, even they, the, the Perth Riders took away the, the ball from Vienna and we have now one player from the Perth Riders going trying to do a one-on-one -on -one situation with a with the goalkeeper but uh, didn't succeed because there was a an, uh, another player from Austria intercepting and now comes the third wave into the Austrian basket a little bit from above Austria recovered the ball but cannot get rid of it. Attacked by several Australian players. And now Austria is going for a swim and erection. We are in the half of uh, the Perth Raider basket. And this is a goal. And another goal here for uh, Vienna. this time for Vienna. The number 44. Goal for White. Number 44 from Vienna. So it's a 2-1 in, uh, no, in this first half. Perth Raiders against Vienna. 2 minutes 22 left. And it's a 2-1 in favor That's of... Great. I mean, really favor of the Perth no, Raiders. The, the still, I mean, still uh, the second half, right? And two minutes left from the first time. The first half. It's the first so, half. No, no, I know, I know. So it's 12 minutes left in the game, so everything yeah. is possible. And both teams, that's an interesting thing. Both teams seem able to score. Both teams uh, want to win. And it's not only they're uh, taking their time uh, and hope it's over, but both teams really fight and want to show they are the better team. So uh, Austria is going again for uh, an attack on the basket of the Australian Perth Riders. Takes a little while uh, for uh, uh, the other players to come in. So one player was all alone in front of the basket and the, the tackling of uh, the ball carrier to the surface starts. We have a cluster on the surface, players waiting down under. And the cluster is uh, pushed in the direction of the Austrian basket. And the Perth Raider again. That's the one uh, that's making the rolls. And uh, she's trying to get through to the goalkeeper, but she's tackled away by two Vienna players to the surface ball is still on the surface now Perth Riders uh, again attacking and this was a good move from Perth Riders snatching away the ball from the Vienna player uh, but she's tackled away to the surface and again same situation ball drops down uh, Perth Rider player recovers it and tries to go in 
they're quite um, close, huh? I mean, yeah, they're they close, really is but Vienna is, uh, uh, is succeeding on tackling them away. And uh, this Perth rider lost the ball to a Vienna player who swam up to her and grabbed the ball. First time is over. And so it's uh, end of the first half and we have a second half in uh, three minutes. Yes, uh, yes in German it's called a Halbzeitpause. <laughs> it's a break between the uh, two game times. Well, um, uh, there's a question about uh, Orca women. Um, hay un triangular, en realidad hay tres triangulares con el equipo de las mujeres porque son nueve, entonces va a haber tres triangulares eh, de uno al tercer puesto, del cuarto al sexto puesto y del siete al noveno puesto. Las chicas de Orcas están en el triangular para competir del primero al tercer puesto con Noruega, las chicas de Karen y con Alemania, las chicas de Langen. Así que allí están las chicas. ¿Y cuándo van a jugar? A ver cuándo está jugando Orcas contra a Karen a las 8 de la noche de hoy. So how many games we have to go for today? Well, um, we are being watched. One, two, three, you four, to four five, camera. six, seven, eight, nine. Nine games uh, we have to... Uh, so we have done 19 games and nine to go. 28, they were the amount of game for yes. today. Longest day in the Champions Cup 2017 uh, here in Berlin. Um, again, you're watching the Champions Cup live transmission uh, from the Goethstraße Goethebad here in Berlin. Uh, it's the biggest uh, underwater rugby competition in the world. We have 14 nations and uh, 14 teams, men teams and nine uh, women teams, 23 teams altogether and 56 games within three days. So that's uh, quite a, a lot of uh, underwater rugby. And uh, the, the teams are coming in and out of the pool area before they play to warm up and then leave to uh, get some fresh air to recover in the hotel and then they come back. Um, it's a great atmosphere here for everyone who haven't seen it yet, who haven't been here yet. Uh, it's, it's really relaxed. You see a lot of tension in the water when the game happens, but when uh, the, the players are out, it's everything relaxed and uh, great talking, connecting with the people. Many of them know each other from uh, other tournaments or from the Champions Cup. Um, for the Colombians, it's always a time uh, to connect to the European uh, underwater rugby scene. They know a lot of players, but they don't see them very often uh, in real. So here is a, is a great place to exchange ideas and that's why we had the underwater rugby uh, academy here in berlin because the the beauty of it you can meet you see each other face to face and uh, that's a big difference to what you do online in an online conference so here we go the game starts in the second half and perth raiders are leading with a one yeah. zero uh, against two one but it's okay uh, <laughs> you have been <laughs> Two one. <laughs> okay, mental part. It's but all good. But one zero would be the same. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just. It <laughs> but it, but they, it's not. They have I have a of a, of a goal. <laughs> yeah, I have been talking, <laughs> and I've been letting you because uh, when I left, uh, then yeah. I disconnected. Now I've been you trying to connect. You let me talk. Connect, uh, yeah. That's new. Call from the yeah, referee. Okay. And Do we have uh, the microphone? Ah, yeah. Free throw for Vienna. I think the girls from Vienna are a little bit surprised that um, they are one goal down. So let's see. I think, I mean, the 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 one that I was executing. Yeah, exactly. She one was okay. She was not so outside again, the two meters. So more. have to repeat the uh, free throw. Remember, we explained that uh, you need to have two meters distance from the one that executed until the uh, ball has left and reached the first um, player that was supposed to, to, to catch the ball. And then uh, otherwise you have to repeat the free throws, a penalty. Also the executor has three seconds to execute it. So we have Australia attacking and the girl from Vienna look a little bit um, 
chaotic. I mean, like they, um, it looks like uh, that grabbed to the mast. That was quite. If I saw, it, I always think if I see it here with the camera, I mean, all the matter. <laughs> that blue. Well, the the referee made a call, so he yeah. saw it too. No, no, but I always think it's it's, it's quite brutal. If if you can see it through a, a camera, then in real, it's uh, quite hard. So. Um, I think uh, the girl from Vienna uh, look a little bit uh, lost. I mean, not completely, but uh, for me, Australia has a little bit more of fight uh, models. I mean, they're more Agile. in tune uh, uh, into... Mm, they're a little bit more aggressive in water, but I mean aggressive in a, in a positive way. I mean, this kind of bite that you need to have uh, to get the ball and get things done. And it looked that the Australian girls would have it a little bit more, but um, I don't know. Uh, maybe the uh, Australian, the Austrian girls are a little bit uh, surprised that they are down for one goal, so trying to maybe recover from that. Uh. So we are in the middle of the pool, and uh, the T who gets the ball from this fight, I'm getting dizzy from this movement of the camera, I cannot watch. <laughs> so it looks like Australia is getting um, better control of the ball right now. Austria still continue fighting, but um, they are not as effective in stopping the Australian girls. Okay, well now, you see, they proved me wrong. They got the ball now, they're um, swimming a counter attack and uh, hopefully switch the camera. I'm going to throw up here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> make me really sick. I can't watch this uh, movement. Wolf, you need to help me out. I'm All right. <laughs> uh, where we are, this is... Uh, Austria trying to uh, attack the Australian basket and they come trying to come from above. A las ocho juega Orcas femenino contra Karen. And it's, a, it's a little bit uh, uh, it, it's missing the, the bite uh, I can't watch. you I really need really to Sorry. score. It's a little bit undecisive of what uh, Austria does. They, they Their pass is two and we have uh, one player from uh, Australia breaking through in a counter break okay. to the other side of uh, the pool area, but stopped by the uh, defending offense of, uh, of, Australia, of Austria. And this is one player from uh, Australia trying to push up the goalkeeper. She was alone, it was a one-on-one -on -one situation, but didn't succeed and went out of this uh, dangerous area under the basket after the first try. So uh, Australia is still, the Perth Riders from Australia are in ball position. No, uh, Austria recover the ball and the Austrian player tries to swim through. What we see from them, from Austria, they take the direct line and swim into the the, the defending offense of Australia and you cannot swim through them like that. No, um, you need to build up a little bit the way Yeah, yeah and go back and forth and to the side. This is, uh, we are now in the corner uh, at the Australian uh, basket. Wow, this is really <laughs> interesting perspective, a lot of movement here. <laughs> Okay, Ursula, good to be if you nicht allein. Ich kann wirklich nicht gucken. No, it's, it's gucken. okay for me, I can watch it, but it's, uh, it's a little bit... I, I have to look away from the camera. No, this is better, the, the picture is better now. Yeah, so no. Australia, uh, Austria is still in ball possession, and they try now to attack on the uh, open side, on the head, on the goalkeeper, but uh, the forechecking is quite good. But what is Austria was missing with the girls from Vienna, they, they 
Every one of them is fighting for themselves. It's yes, they're alone. I mean, it's like they're tired. They're not concentrated. They're not uh, focused. I mean, we the team connection is missing. Yes, what what yes, they're doing yes, here? Yes, exactly. Did it, it started like that as well? And uh, they try to attack. Try to attack. But uh, they are always tackled away. We're now on the surface. There's a big cluster, and the cluster is pushed in the direction of the Austrian basket. Still clustering on the surface. Still a cluster yeah. on the surface. Cluster. I don't like clusters. They See, stop the game. They menos. they took uh, take a lot of energy, mm. and they uh, they help nothing. Retrasado. They exhaust you too. Some people, some players think they can Orcas. recover while staying in the cluster on the surface, but it's not true. You are out of air uh, yeah, when the wall drops is a down. This kind of game that uh, really beginners do. I mean, to be hanging in the surface and. Hanging on the ball. Two minutes. Two open. So we are out of the cluster, and Austria is in the pole position, and they're trying to break mm -mm. through to the Australian okay. basket. Alles korrekt. But uh, they, they are tackled away all the time and this is one uh, one one Austrian girl tries to wrap her arms around the goalkeeper before she gets the ball but the ball is not free now the Austrian player ripped it free to the open side but it's received by a uh, Australian player and uh, they pass back and forth between each other but now the player is going up to the surface and tackled. Yeah, it's a pity that they're losing so much time doing this. Um, it's one minute. You can hear the screaming of the Austrian trainer. He's not happy about it. They need to get rid of the situation and just put the ball in movement. Well, the, the second half of this game lost on quality uh, concerning the Austri Austrian team. It's one minute 44 left. And uh, probably the last attack from Austria now on the basket of Australia. It's a change from the goalkeepers. That will be a chance. There are a lot of Austrian players down there. Don't see the ball. It's now on the open side. But it's uh, no one ever. Ah, there is. Oh, it is. Wow, amazing. Great job. Great job for the Austrian. They really fought. Sport. And it's just Go 20 seconds. So they will the go into penalties. And I'm really. Number 77. White I would like number to, 77. to have White scored. I wouldn't have guessed that. Uh, but it was, it was, it was a mistake uh, uh, by the from Vienna. Uh, Australian goalkeeper. Sabine Pura. It's really okay. hard uh, for Australia in this moment because probably they thought uh, they made it. But uh, it's interesting for us to see the penalties now. It's not over until it's over, dear. It's not over. Until it's over. It's now or never. And this is... Uh, Come hold me. That is a... And rugby. I mean, the last second goal that I have okay. we have done and that they have done, were done to us, I mean... So, what, what's your estimation, Lorena, for the penalty Blue shooting? Starts. Well, who's more experienced? Who has more, uh, more well of a? That's that's. Um, I think that's that a the tough one. The, the, I'm the, trying the, to. The, the, the team more aggressive and agile definitely was Australia. They have. Yes, but I don't know if they can move on a, on a penalty goal. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think Australia is going to win. I have to say that from the My guess from too. what I've seen, the movement in water, and I cannot so put really a word on it, just the movement, the definition, yes, yes, and the exactly. strength they put they into the water. They are more agile, more aggressive, hey, more into it. If they the can player. bring this into the penalty, because experience-wise, I don't think they are much more experienced one than break? the other. So I think no that break. it could be that Australia wins. 
Okay. I don't know. That would be my bit. Get ready. The blue player. So the blue player. <laughs> so it's nice what we hear from the referee table penalty shooting we start with blue with an attacker and a white with a defender so uh, and they had one of the no not the moving camera please <laughs> so uh, Australia is attacking and she's coming in uh, from the open side tried to swim over the goalkeeper but the goalkeeper does a good job keeping her body in between uh, the attacker and uh, the goal. So the Australian player went up to the surface, took a sip of air, and she where goes up again. It's 15 seconds. Now she has to speed up. Now she has to speed up. And what's it? There was a score. <laughs> we have the cup. <laughs> They're bringing it to us, the uh, Norwegian. Um. So, 1 0 now for the Perth Riders. Let's see who is going to execute penalty for the Austrian team. Let's see. So let's see, uh, the goalkeeper from Australia is having this ball and uh, there we go, 1-0, Australia wins and Austria um, lost on the penalty shoot. I mean, they have done a great job, they even had recovered from a 2-1 uh, result and to a 2-2 almost in the last 20 seconds. And now it's one zero for Australia. But we we'll look, we were not wrong. I mean, look, we, we have some wrong. experience. Th that's and something. Sometimes you can see this uh, a bit on a team. And uh, this is not because we want to favor Australia or we're against of Austria. No, I, I, not I, at all. I in see this that case as our again. duty to put our knowledge there and see what we see and uh, share what it's our... It's called duty knowledge. Knowledge duty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 